Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Vibe Scartel fans react after seeing Judge ruled in the Klansman one Dan trial. Police lock off Silk Boss and Charlie Black show in Canada for this. Plus, a man said to be Sizzler bodyguard at Judgment Yard and we're gonna review an artist called the rapper Dapper with him new music video called Disrespect Stay tuned Yo Reggae Media TV Bada Dan Everything we bad Are we mad at Dan Everything we mad This nigga Ocean still can't recover from up in May pain Now them send Superman Minotech Minotech this so the artist rapper dapper dropped this new one called disrespect as you hear what i'm saying at the song minotech disrespect and you know this type of style where the artist come with you know blending with his name rapper dapper you know him dj and mix it with a little rapping yo, set, yo, this. minotech disrespect in the middle of your top bullets interject so the rapper Dapper, the artist, also into producing, you know, he work with other artists, he produce more artists such as Tanto Blacks, yeah people, so, you know, the artist just uh, make him name out there, you know, by releasing more and more songs like this one right here. And, you know, I came across this song on Instagram and when me really listen to it, it's like immature shade at Casino. So, people, I'm gonna share the link of his YouTube channel in the comment section, also in the description, so y'all can check out him music and see what Guan, the rapper dapper, you know. In a tight and gown, masquerade and join your freak show. <laughs> After sun, this old man bring terror to your squad, big pun, this old man. Okay, so Charlie Black and the Silk Boss was set to perform in Canada over the weekend, but the show got put off, you know, it's like the police them have to lock off the show due to circumstances right here. Charlie Black explained, saying that he will keep his fans posted. People, I don't know what going on a while ago, but I was on my way to the show. Promoter call and said, don't follow to the venue. Shot fired one bag of shenanigans. But I heard that someone got hurt, but it's not on the venue where we are um, performing. Silk Bass, alright. Charlie Black, alright. Obviously, my dear, my hotel and my room, I go up right now still. I've got my clothes, so I'll keep you updated in terms of what we're gonna do regarding the people who buy them tickets and everything. You see me? Uh, I'm a brand new, you see in gold shoes, we put on the star. I swear, you see me? And this side say, Yeah, Canada, we are all our one joy and all our one vibe. On the way to the show, Baga Chupi this one. But when I question God work, look who I talk to. Okay, so after seeing several defendants found not guilty on multiple counts, you know, in the Klansman trial, it's like we see Vibes Cartel fans react. After seeing four more counts against defendants in the Klansman Wandan trial have been dismissed after Chief Justice Brian Sykes this morning ruled that the Crown failed to make out a case against them. So right here, some of Vibes Cartel fans react, as you can see this person post but won't free vibes cartel for evidence they can't find an expert right here comment a cartel strength alone them have yes people and right here an expert comment saying the system corrupt and unfair to cartel because uh, the only difference is them take out multiple people and them say cartel take out one so how him get life sentence you know so it's like some people are saying you know this trial right here was a total failure you know the clansman trial well i know a lot of people right now supposed to anticipating a video from sir p about this one okay so a man was found dead at sizzler judgment yard in august town 
Yes, people are right here reading from an article on the Jamaica Observer as it states, a man is said to be a bodyguard of iconic reggae act Sisla Kalanji was shot dead in Judgment Yard in August Town, St. Andrew on a Sunday night. Up to publication time Monday morning, the man who is also said to be an artist who goes by the stage name Culture was still unidentified. Yes people, so the St. Andrew Central officer them said them unable to confirm if the man was actually a bodyguard of the artist Sizzler and at least 11 spent shells were found at the scene of the shooting. You know, the officer said they made several efforts to contact Sizzler who was not at Judgment Yard, you know. So it's like them still a try get through to him at this moment, yes people. So it's like Sizzler yet to address this thing that took place at Judgment Yard. So, you know, automatically, they might go and reach out to Sizzler because a theme place, so probably, you know, they might go and question him about it. They need to ask him a few questions and get some information because, you know, this lead to investigation right now, especially for someone who allegedly is Sizzler bodyguard. So, you know, the go on, the officer the go on information about this. And as we speak about Sizzler, right now Sizzler gearing up to perform on Reggae Sumfest 2022. Yeah man, it's like Sizzler already start for rehearse, you know, and thing. So right now, that's one of the things Sizzler looking forward to and he might record some more songs. So a next album on the way. As far as I know, just the other day, Mr. Sizzler went live and he was speaking about, you know, all him new music along with reggae Sumfest performance. What? I'm gonna give you a money, 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 I